When starved for nutrients, certain gram-positive genera, including some important pathogens, can develop dormant heat-resistant and desiccation-resistant spores. Most of our knowledge of bacterial sporulation comes from the gram-positive soil bacterium Bacillus subtilis. When growing in the rich medium, these microbes undergo normal vegetative growth. Bacillus subtilis can uh, replicate every 30 to 60 minutes of the time frame. In contrast, starvation initiates sporulation, an elaborate 8-hour genetic program that ultimately yields a spore. Sporulation can be divided into 8 morphological stages. Stage 0 represents the point at which the vegetative cell decides to use one of the two potential polar division sites to begin the septum formation instead of central division site used for vegetative growth. Stage 1 involves replicating and stretching the DNA into a long axial filament that spans the length of the cell. Ultimately, one of the polar division sites wins out and the stage 2 is where the septum occurs dividing the cell into two unequal compartments, the fourth spore which will ultimately become the spore and the larger mother cell from which it derived. Each comp Compartment contains a chromosome. In stage 3 of sporulation, the mother cell membrane engulfs the fourth spore, resulting in a structure encircled by two membranes. Stage 4 is when the mother cell chromosome is destroyed and the cortex made up of a thick polypeptidoglycan layer is placed between the two membranes surrounding the fourth spore protoplast. This cortex will be important in providing heat resistance and maintaining dormancy to the spore. In stage 5, layers of coat proteins are deposited on the outer membrane. In stage 6, completes the development of the spore resistance to heat and chemical insults. This last stage includes the synthesis of uh, dipicolinic acid in the mother cell and is uptaken by the core of the spore. Dipicolinic acid is important in maintaining dormancy and in promoting the spore dehydration, a characteristic that makes the spore heat resistant. In stage 7, the mother cell, now called a sporangium, releases the mature spore. Spores are resistant to many environmental stress that would kill vegetative cell. The nature of this resistance is due in part to the spores having only 10 to 30 percent of vegetative cell's water content, but spores also contain small acid soluble proteins that bind and protect DNA from being damaged by ultraviolet light and various toxic chemicals. Fully mature spore can exist in soil for at least 50 to 100 years and have been known to last thousands of years. Once proper nutrient conditions arise, another genetic program called germination is triggered to wake the dormant cell, dissolve the spore cortex and coat and release a rehydrated viable vegetative cell.